Yeah, he can take you all around the world. Yeah, I know he can take you places. I ain't finna take you nowhere. What is up guys, this is Harry's Tech and today I'm going to show you what's on my MacBook Pro. So the computer I'm using is MacBook Pro 2016, the mid one and it has a quad core i7 with in uh, Radeon Pro 455 graphics, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD. So let's just get started on what apps I use on daily basis. So let's just launch my launchpad because that's the primary view of my launching app. Like it, you might find it weird that I use launchpad to launch apps, but I use launchpad or spotlight. I don't just put all my apps in dock because I don't really, it's not like, I don't really like to do that. So let's just go, This is these are all stock apps from Apple basically. Now let's talk about what browsers do I use. I use Safari as my main browser because it uses way less battery than let's say Chrome or Firefox. So then I use Chrome. What I use Chrome for is the extensions in Chrome are really good and I can download files from SoundCloud. So there are some really great extensions for Chrome that I use on day-to-day -day basis. So I use Chrome. Next is Firefox. Um, I mean, I have all three because Firefox has like really good dev tools. So go here and it has web developer. You can see it has all of these great tools to help if you're a web de developer. So I use Firefox for that. If I'm making a website, I'll just use Firefox and their dev tools. Next, obviously I have Spotify. So with Spotify, I listen to music. I listen to a lot of music on this computer when I'm doing stuff. So that's Spotify. Next is VLC. Basically to play all the video files. And this player like is the best video player. So that's VLC. It just plays all the formats pretty easily. And this is Google Drive. I don't know what Google Drive is, it's just like a cloud storage. So yeah, I don't use iCloud anymore because I have a variety of devices I need my files to be synced with, not just Apple. So yeah, Google Drive is way to go. I stopped using Dropbox like long time ago, but yeah, Google Drive is way to go. Next is the Unarchiver. This basically replaces your WinRAR for Windows. In Mac, you can extract 7Z, zip files, RAR files. So that's what it's used for. Next is the Sublime Text. It's just like um, a text editor for like programming. So I'm just, right now I'm just working on a book called Python, Learn Python the Hard Way. And I'm just doing all the exercises in the book. So that's what this is, <laughs> this whole shit about. <laughs> so I use this um, text edit for HTML, CSS. I tried to use Atom and Brackets, but I didn't like the UI as much as Sublime Text. So I just switched back to that. Next is this, which is Image Optim. So basically what this does, is just optimizes your images for web. web. So if you drag and drop an image in the window and just press the button, it will optimize the images. So basically it will compress it for web but still maintaining the quality so websites will load faster this is like a must have for a web developer who uses a lot of image so that's image optim next i have app cleaner this is just really simple you just take an app whatever you want to uninstall drag and drop and then just remove and it will uninstall all the files of it without leaving any stop any files behind because what it that happens if you just dra drag it down in trash there will be some files which will be left behind and it will be in your hard drive forever and you won't even know it and then there will be low space on your computer and then you will be slow and then a lot of problems will be there so yeah and there is logic logitech options for my mx master mouse um then i have u trend obviously to download torrent um then i have team viewer for remote desktop thing 
and then I have Paragon NTFS to use all my Windows hard drives with the Mac so I can read and write all the files from it. Then I have Adobe apps such as Lightroom for light video, photo editing, sorry, no video. Um, then I have Photoshop for when I want to make thumbnails or something else. That's what Photoshop's were. Then Muse is like a CMS, so I can make, I use Muse to make static websites, which doesn't need much coding. So this is like best way to make like responsive websites, stuff like that, so that's Muse. Then I have Illustrator for vector stuff and logo design. Then I have Final Cut Pro for video editing. Final Cut, I just use Premiere most of the time on my desktop, but this is like if I'm on the go, I wanna edit a quick video. This is what it's for. I took a lot of clips and just edited them all in Final Cut Pro and it's a really good software but I'm just I just can't switch from Premiere for YouTube editing because I'm just so used to it next I have this Intel EIG idea just Java IDE to compile Java code so that's just what it does technically and then I have Fazila, the FTP client I use to transfer files to FTP server or maybe in my, I, I wouldn't use it for my phone. So yeah. And then I have Kodi, um, movies and stuff like that. Oh, I think it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it this is good. TV shows and movies, but it makes your computer a little slow, so yeah. Then I have Skype and WhatsApp for social stuff. Skype to Skype friends and WhatsApp because I'm mostly on my desk and I don't want to like use that teeny tiny phone keyboard to like type like tit, 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 tit. so I use my computer because it's way faster on that. Then I have Handbrake. Handbrake is like a video compressor. You just drag and drop a video file in it and just choose the format and just go and it will just compress it with maintain while maintaining the quality so that's what handbrake's for next up is grammarly so if i'm writing something like an email and stuff i just copy and paste in it it'll just recognize all the mistakes for me and bam so that's what grammarly is for then i have google keep because i keep all my notes on my android phone so I need this, so I just write everything in Google Keep and then it just syncs back to my phone. So that's what Google Keep is for. And this is Ulysses. This is what I use sometimes to like write a script for YouTube or something like that. And this is like a really good writing app. It's a really good one. If you full screen it, here it says it's like um, distraction free writing environment and it has some really good commands and stuff like that like for heading you just have to hashtag and just heading and it's really cool writing app so i recommend this to everyone who write a lot so this is ulysses then we have universal media service to stream files from computer to my ps4 or xbox one if you have one then i have downy to download youtube videos then I have clean my Mac. This app is really good if your Mac is just filled with junk. It just cleans it up for you. And also the good part about it is it comes with this status bar thingy. And it shows you the time of your battery and how much it's remaining. Cause now if you notice that if you click here, uh, the battery does, the time doesn't show up cause Apple removed the functionality from the uh, status bar. So that kind of sucked. But now as I have clean my Mac, it just, Barks. Next up, we have Audacity to edit audio or record voiceovers. Next, we have Astro Command Center for my Astro headset. If I want need to upgrade the firmware or whatever, or not I use this. Then I have Minecraft, which I don't really play anymore. I just downloaded that and I'm just doesn't don't play anymore i have amphetamine so this program is really good what it does basically is just prevents your mac from sleeping let's say if you're uploading a video or downloading a large file just click on this coffee cup icon or amphetamine icon and just choose your settings like you can 
put it for infinite time blah 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 there's there are a lot of settings to mess with so this is a great app if you don't want your Mac to go to sleep and then I have Twitter for Twitter then I have virtual box to run virtual machines in it I guess I use VMware but I think virtual box works good too then I have handshaker so this is what I used to transfer my files from my phone to the computer because Android file transfer is the worst like software I've seen it's just so stupid and it's so slow it just slows everything down it doesn't even load stuff off my SD card half of the time it takes two hours to transfer files so this one is better option handshaker and then I have this app then I have tunnel blick this is just an app for my paid VPN I use paid VPN um, so yeah I just click on the status bar and connect to server so that's what that's for so that's what is on my macbook pro if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also hit that bell icon so you will get notified each time i upload the video so thanks for watching Harry's tech signing out